Hello, artist friends. It's Miss Jennifer here at Brahm. Today, we're going to learn about the late Louisiana artist, George Rodriguez. Although he was most famous for his paintings of Blue Dog, he also loved to paint the landscape, people, and traditions of the Louisiana Bayou where he was born and raised. Let's learn some more and then paint our own Blue Dog. Here we have some images of some of George Rodriguez's paintings, Blue Dog. You can see where this character got his name. He developed from a Cajun legend of Loop Garou. Here's George Rodriguez in his studio working on some Blue Dog paintings. Here's a print of Blue Dog. Artist George Rodriguez was also known for his paintings of the Louisiana Bayou country, such as this one. I love the live oak trees in this painting. We're going to paint our own blue dog. For our blue dog today, you're going to need a pencil with an eraser or a crayon to draw your dog. You're going to need paint or markers to color him in. If you're using paint, you'll need a brush, water, and I like to have a paper towel handy for cleaning my brush. Are you ready? Let's get started on our blue dog. I'm using a kind of heavy paper because I'm going to use paint today. I'm going to start near the top of my paper, kind of halfway between the top and the center. I'm going to make a large circle that doesn't quite connect at the bottom. Next an upside down U with kind of a light bulb shape at the bottom. Two eyes for my blue dog. A nose. And a mouth. You can make your dog sad or happy. Next, he needs those fun pointed ears. Mine are a little bit crooked, but that's okay. Now it's time to draw his body. I'm going to start at the bottom of the head and come down to his paw. Watch me. Just like that. I'm going to do the same on the other side. Start at the bottom of his head, curve down, and end with a paw. Now I'm going to make these legs come up, a line for his belly, and let's show his back paws like he's sitting like a good boy. Now Blue Dog didn't usually have a tail, but if you'd like you could add one, maybe right here or on this side. That's it, you've drawn your Blue Dog, now it's time to paint. I'm going to start by painting my dog, you guessed it, blue. I need to wake up my tempera paints. I'm going to start at the top. Now, it's looking like it's covering up my crayon line, but that's okay. When it's all dry, we can go back and trace those lines over to make them stand out nice and sharp. Blue Dog's nose was usually white, so I'm going to leave that light bulb shape white on my painting. I'm also going to be very careful painting around his eyes, as I don't want those to have blue paint in that section. There's his face, now for his body.
Now that our blue dog is painted, it's time to get creative with our background. George Rodriguez used bright colors in the background of his blue dog paintings, as you can see here. So this is where you get to use your imagination and really make your artwork come to life. I'm going to paint Blue Dog's eyes yellow. The yellow and the blue complement and make each color stand out more. Okay, so I'm going to use some orange for my background. I'm going to be careful not to cover up my Blue Dog as I go around the edges. Now I'll add some red at the bottom of the background. Let's let Blue Dog dry for a few minutes and then we can go back over our black lines and really create some contrast. You can see once my painting was dry, I've spent some time going back over the outlines with a black crayon. You could also use a black Sharpie marker or even black paint with a thin paintbrush. Going back over these lines, and adding some zigzaggy fur really brings our blue dog to life. I can't wait to see your blue dogs 